Hello and welcome to the NARC Alert, the channel where we look at YouTubers and others to see if they demonstrate any traits that fall within the spectrum of narcissistic personality disorder or NPD. These videos are for fun and entertainment purposes only, strictly my opinion, and remember, please don't send any snark to our possible narcs. So key points to remember, messy fun, and not a diagnosis. Hello, my lovely alerts, and welcome back to the NARC Alert. Well, happy Friday. We made it through another week, and we're into March. So that means that spring, for those of us in the Northern Hemisphere, is right around the corner. And I just can't wait. I mean, all this snow and cold, well, it's it's just not fair. You know what else is not fair? Amber's dietitian turning her down for her weight loss surgery. Something has got to be done about this. So I thought, since it's Friday and we like to relax on Friday, we might look back at all the times that Amberlynn has felt that life was just not fair. Take it away, Ambie. It's, it's very hard for me to push myself so hard and only, you know, get some negative outcome. It seems like that's always what happens. It's not fair. That seems kind of like, what's the word for it? not fair that's not the word i'm searching for but there's a word for it it's not fair that we have to pay we weren't expecting this to happen so we're having to pay big chunks of change for something we didn't even consider to even happen like it's it's a big mess there's more to the story i don't feel like sitting here talking about it um, and they're not coming to fix it they haven't tried they haven't came tried to look at it or anything so it's not fair that not only didn't they tell us our 60 day thing but they're trying to make us pay for an apartment that isn't even livable like we can't be staying in an apartment where I could I could be getting sick wasabi destiny twinkie we all could be getting sick breathing in this mold I regret not learning at a younger age to take care of my body. And I almost feel like it's not fair. Anyways, that's a whole other, whole other rant. I, can't, I literally can't get over this. Like, it's not fair at all. It's not fair for strangers to pick a side, a side to bash, and a side to hate, a side to love, and a side to hash. It's disgusting and it's not fair. It's not healthy for me, it's not healthy for the people leaving the mean comments, I'm sure. But um, it just sucks that people have used so much against me. It's not right and it's not fair. It's just not fair to be judged based on my appearance and I kind of just wanted to vent about that. It's just not fair that people are very judgmental. If there are girls outside right now, sorry, that are taking selfies in front of a rock wall. <laughs> but to me she looked like she was about 50 pounds bigger than I was either way we were both like super huge in the restaurant and she was also sitting at a table with her like chunky friend I really like chunks and I couldn't help but almost like judge this morbidly obese girl like I am morbidly obese and I'm worried about other people judging me but yet I am sitting there almost like judging this girl sure not to say who the dietitian was I made sure not to say the name or anything like that because I didn't want something like this happening and it's not fair that I feel like I can't share things that are going on in my life and fear that people are going to attack the narco work had a heart attack have some sympathy Sorry, I'm trying to find my sympathy bone. My sympathy. I'm sorry. I don't care! It just hurts. It's just not fair. Oh my god. And the lighting in here is so bad. What? It's not fair. I think literally I am allergic to cat. Being a positive cookie. <laughs> and then, you know, I'll be down weight from that. But then one binge will erase all those days that I've worked for. This is not right, this is not cool. And it's just not fair. And because there is explanations for what I am saying, 
it's not fair that you're using every single thing that I'm saying when you guys want answers from me as an excuse. So it's just not fair because I know that if it was a skinny person doing it, they wouldn't be a troll. Did you ever think that maybe there's more to life than being really, really, really ridiculously good looking? It's not fair. I have been hurting so bad. It's just not fair that I have to sit here and have to explain this. It's not fair. I just want this all to go away, to be honest. What's your opinion on thin privilege? I feel like I could make a whole video about that. I feel like it's ridiculous. It's not fair. It's wrong. Grabbing something to eat. Just think. Can you pop into a bakery, pick up a donut, enjoy it, and not feel that you've been met with stares or comments? I cannot do that. I hate that if like I'm not showing that I'm losing weight, then people hate me. And then when I'm showing that I'm losing weight, all of a sudden I'm liked again. It's it's not fair. When I first started YouTube, I was in the middle of a journey after gaining some weight back, but I was in the middle of a journey. And a lot of people, you know, tell me, I don't care about your weight loss until you reach the point you were at when you first started your channel. And to me, it's not fair. The world is not a fair place. I understand it's not fair. It's very hypocritical. You are reaction channel's cash cows, so not fair. Yeah. Okay. Did you mean there? Where where did you mean? It's the top right. <laughs> Literally <laughs> Your finger went like three different places. <laughs> well, <laughs> That is not fair. Based on what I've done in the past, based on what I've done on YouTube, what I've said on YouTube, I know for a fact that I will never, ever deserve this. It's just... It's not right and it's not fair. And I'll never think it is. It's not fair. Fair by Amy Krauss Rosenthal and Tom Lichtenheld. Because a lot of people sit for majority of their day. People take very little steps throughout the day. It's very common. And I just thought it would be something fun to have for me for days where it's snowing outside and I don't want to walk outside. I we are in Lexington, Kentucky. This is a little tiny pocket park called Deer Haven Park. And we're gonna go check out the Brighton Rail Trail. I don't have a treadmill at home. Um, for one, I don't want a big bulky treadmill in my apartment. That's just not really what I want. So it's really good for several different people and occasions and I don't think that's very fair to say that it's only for elderly or disabled because that's not fair at all. I'm just being open, transparent, honest with you guys. Like this is my life. Please don't take anything I just told you guys and like twist it, run with it, or use it against me because it's not fair. I think like two episodes, but we're also, baby, how many episodes behind are we Mama June? That's not fair. The common response to that was, we don't want to hear you talk about the news because we don't care what you have to say about it. We don't want to hear you give advice because why, like really, Amber Lynn giving advice? It makes me feel like I'm just not human. I have advice, you guys. I'm not completely unintelligent. I do have some common sense and I am a human who lives in the United States. So I do have opinion on politics or things happening in the news. Um, and it doesn't even have to be my opinion all the time. It could just be me sharing things that are happening that maybe you guys don't know about. I don't know. And I just feel like in a way people forget that I am human. I do experience things. I do have opinions. I do have a voice and I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like the vibe. It's not fair. Well, I don't know about you guys, 
but I'm guessing a great many of you, like me, grew up hearing, sorry kiddo, life just isn't fair sometimes. You know what is fair though? Another Redbubble sale. Redbubble is offering 20% off all merchandise again, and I dropped some new merch. You might want to go check it out. Link in the description. Thank you so much for joining me. If you liked the video, click like and subscribe. Pick up a channel membership. Real loves it when you do that. If you liked this video, check out this video right here, exploring all the times that Amberlynn Reed talked about her OCD. Thank you again for joining me. I can't wait to see you on the live tomorrow. And until we meet again, please be kind and hasta luego.